after but all. But you didn't really know what happened. Okay, yes, I remember. I, I remember. I know what happened. How did we meet? That is the question we've been asked how many times, babe? Oh, like, just trillions. Yeah, it's it's been about none. Actually, there's uh, there's been zero people ask us how we met. We figured we would just be like every other basic couple out there. How did we meet? But no, this ain't gonna be no lovey dovey like. She's the moon to my light. She's the girl to my boy. She is the tires to my car. None of that. We're gonna be as serious as possible, and we're gonna tell you how basic we are because I'm sure our story is not like some of these other people where they go, I was riding my bike and I fell and slid down into a sewer, and in there I found this homeless lady and she was begging me okay, to take we're her done home. With that story. And that was my girlfriend. You know that that happens. Some people do that, but this is not that. So, babe, how are we gonna start this? Oh, before we forget, we went and got boba. I did not get boba. I got coffee with cream thing. I don't know what it is, but it's freaking good. Claire got the boba skis with the boba balls in her face. Yes, let's go. So how are we gonna do this? Maybe we do the intro. Like, you know, and you put that little thing that goes the intro with like some like SpongeBob the first, music. The yeah. first time we saw each other. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but Andrew's driving. Technically, we're, we're idling right now. Okay, but you drove here. Technically and he never drives. But yeah, so this is how uh, I remember. And uh, like, I don't really remember too much. Like we could both like have different versions of this. We but we'll just kind of really We'll just kind of chime in when we okay. think is necessary. So I believe, no, I honestly don't know. Probably. You really don't remember the first time. Okay, are we talking about the first time we saw each other or the first time no, we No, like the met? first time like we like met. Okay, I remember. <laughs> I remember what you Rocky, were wearing. Rocky's no. No. That's later in the story. First time we met. I remember what you were wearing. Oh, is it the party thing? Why is it raining, bro? It's sunny out. Maybe it'll add a little ambience to oh, it. Oh yeah, a little ambiance. Um, ambience. Ambulance. All right. So I believe the first time I saw Claire and like had a conversation with her was a party called I think it was the Wolf of Wall Street themed party, and I was dressed like a straight douche. But now the way I was talking. Sorry. The first time I saw you. Look into my eyes. Look at the camera, not telling me. I don't look at the look camera. Look at the camera. The first time I saw you, you were wearing a yellow shirt. Sick. And bro. it was douchey. You were trying to dress up like a douche for the Wolf of Wall Street party. But I didn't attend the party. She didn't. She was not invited. She was not cool enough. And uh, you also, that's when you had surgery, right? Yeah. Yeah, so pretty much it was in the parking lot. I remember I was walking mm -hmm. back. Yep. Little turn. <laughs> And then, uh, actually, there was almost a fight that broke out, I remember. Because one guy, I was whispering. Oh, yeah, there was. And you came up to me and you're like, I was just going to fight. No, no, that's not what happened. We had this guy on our team. I won't say his name because I don't know if he's got, like, a job. I don't know if he's running for president. I don't know. And, uh, like, someone, I guess, like, punched or someone stole beer. The guy said, yo, give me my beer. He goes, I didn't steal beer. And I guess the guy, like, freaked out and, like, said, screw you guys. And then one of my teammates, who was, like, pretty much a small gorilla, he was absolutely yak sauce. He could bench, like, a billion pounds, started, like, chasing the guy like he was about to go kill the guy and he would have killed the guy but out of my kind heart i stopped i held my the teammate back i said don't do it bro and then the guy gets out the guy calms down whatever i go outside and the freaking ras are there the people that run the place like 18 cameras out i'm like jesus christ i'm gonna get in trouble for this thing and sure enough the guy's out there i was like dude what is your problem he goes i think he said like f you dude you suck and like saying to me i said i just saved your life and you're gonna treat me like that bro no and we continue to rage baby and then i met claire in the parking lot yeah and andrew as amped up as he got telling that story that's pretty much how I amped up he was telling me. And I, I was, was in like, my car. Dude, oh, yeah, I was yeah. in my car. And you came up to my car and you were like, hey, no, I'm just going to fight. Yeah, that's true. what you did. You were, you were walking in the parking lot and then we, like, everyone went into my apartment and you Okay, followed. we're giving too much detail. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So then I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. That boy's whatever. Hot. He's hot. Yeah, I thought you were cute. But pretty much just, you know, shrug it off my shoulder or whatever. Andrew, in the meantime, couldn't sleep because he was so obsessed with me. Like, literally so obsessed with me. Just so obsessed. I probably slept pretty good that night. Was, okay, but the thing is, is like I don't understand. I don't know. I don't remember what happened. Yeah, after. that's what I'm saying. Like that. Why is that even part of the story? I don't know because that, that is technically. Yeah, that the was the first time, time we met. The first time we met. Okay, okay. I know what happens next. I know what happens next. Jesus. Then what happened was I was with my friend who was dating Andrew's roommate. Does that make sense, people? And I was like, you guys, set me up. Set me up with a cute guy, set me up. And she was like, oh my gosh, I have the best guy in mind. And I was like, who? And they were like, this kid named Andrew, you know, Riley's roommate. You met him the other day at the Wolf of Wall Street party. When he Wall saved Street that party. person's life. And I was like, oh yeah, I kind of remember that guy, but he doesn't really stick it on my mind because he's not that important. Oh, okay. 
Claire goes, <gasps> He's not married to six women? How is this possible? That's pretty, what happened. No, pretty much happened was they're like, okay, we'll make it happen because we think, and I was like, oh, he's cute. I'm down to be set up with him. And then this is where it gets real. This is where it gets real saucy. <laughs> We got each other's number, oh. but An Andrew was too big of a baby to text me. No, 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 Oh wait, no, no, no that no, is no, not no. happening. No, no, no. I didn't even have your number. You asked her for my number. Okay, 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 okay. I'll let you tell. Hold on, I have a bum in my mouth. You just said, I deserve my time to speak because you just effed it but all But you up. didn't really know what happened. Okay, I yes, remember, I, I remember. I know what happened. Andrew, I remember now. Okay, pretty much what happened was I got these tickets from my mother to the Rockies game, four of them. I was like, oh my gosh, I should ask Andrew on a date. YOLO. So that's what I did. I texted him and I was like, do you want to go to a Rockies game? And he was like, yeah. But before that, I'd seen you at a concert. God, this story is really complicated. Just do, like, it doesn't matter. Just do the freaking Rockies game, okay? When it okay, freaking you can, matters. You can, go, you can wake up now. So Andrew looks at his phone. He's like, wow, this girl is bold. And she just asked me out on a, on a double date. Yeah. So then I was like, she goes, hey, you're hot. Let's go to a Rockies game. I did not say you're hot. She goes, let's go to Rockies game. It's gonna be me and my friend, and then you can invite someone. So I invited my boy Big C. Yo, yo, what's up, baby? And then uh, we went. And Claire's like, so what is the baseball? No, I like, was Like, you know, not. trying to act all cool. And I, I was, was like, not. This girl doesn't even know what a baseball is. I was not. Pretty much, she goes, explain baseball. You didn't know anything about baseball. You didn't yeah, even know what I'll a baseball. I'll admit that. I didn't. I knew what a baseball was. It makes me sound But she missed a good those. game. Like, it was a Rockies game, and they were down, like, nine or something I didn't like that. I a good game. I was there. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, sorry. I was like, that was a good game. Yeah. <laughs> you could say I didn't fully understand. I meant to say game. you picked a good I meant to say you picked, not missed. She picked a good game to take daddy out on a date because it was like a huge comeback, and I remember the guy hit an absolute massive. Uh, walk off bomb like that thing was like 50 rows back it was freaking destroyed and i remember and claire's like what why is everyone cheering what happened and i was like babe what i didn't call you babe <laughs> yeah that was the first time i went on a date after that you know some stuff yada 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 <laughs> she like friend zoned me because i was like too special of a person and i said f this i'm gonna push through this freaking friend zone guess what we got through, baby, and let's freaking go. You were in the friend go. zone for like literally two days. Yeah, because you know what? I worked hard, all right? I worked hard. I went her over with a magic trick, actually, because she was like, oh my God, this guy just does it all. He's incredible at baseball. He's freaking hot. He plays Call of Duty like a god, and then he just does a magic trick. What can't this freaking guy do? No, the way I unfriends on you is we went on a double date. I don't know what's up with us and double dates, but we went on a double date, and I kissed you at the end of the night, and you were like, you were like, wait, so are we not just friends? And I was like, no, we're not. And then we kind of- Then I was talking. like, all right, this girl's too drama filled. Get out of my face. I'm finding someone else. And then I friends on her. Just no, came you out. didn't. So pretty much that stuff happened. Then Wait, we do like, you remember our first kiss? When did we first kiss? I, babe, I'm not getting on this beat. Oh. They don't care. These people don't care. They want to know the raun like the like the, the raunchy, raunchy, the scary stuff. <laughs> the right? raunchy is our first kiss. That is not raunchy. Raunchy is the first time you diarrhea in the bed. You remember that? I cannot do that. Never happened. <laughs> And then the next step was obviously me asking Claire Bear out as to be my girlfriend. I did it at a Chili's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. By one of the most creative ways ever. I it made a awesome. I made a vine of me singing. You belong with me, but you, you belong. said, will you go out with me? Yeah, I was freaking mm. savage. I deleted that thing ASAP because uh Do no you want could, anyone to find it? If anyone saw that, that is the end of my career. So I deleted that thing. Right off the internet, I acid washed that. I went on Craigslist. Someone just destroyed it all. It was forty thousand dollars, but that video will never be found. I don't care if the CEO of freaking Snapchat or a Vine comes fine. back and fine. looks at all the videos. It won't be. It here. was so cute though. But then the real juicy part is. Uh, who said I love you first? Yeah, it's a big deal. You know, whoever breaks and caves in and says I love you first is like the weak link. You know, it's like, you know, like. I would say it was about a month into us dating and I was dropping Andrew off at his house. This was over summer, right? Yeah, it was summer. over summer. And I dropped him off. You know when you like drop people off and you're like, okay, bye, love ya. Like, you know, really hang up with someone. You're like, okay, bye, love ya. And maybe it's not your mom or your dad or your boyfriend or just your friend, maybe. And you're just like, okay, bye, love ya. Well, I did that. Yep. But it was the first time we had ever said it. Um, um, and he was walking to his door. I literally will never forget it. I was sitting in the driver's seat. Obviously, I was driving. And I, ha I rolled my window down and I was like, okay, bye, love ya. And I was like, and he turns it, around. And I was like, in my head, I was like, 
It was so funny. But knowing me, like, I honestly did not care. Like, I was like, okay, whatever. He was like, what'd you just say? And I, I had like, to make it awkward. I was like, uh, I, I, uh, uh, I. She wanted to say she didn't mean it, but I mean, look at this thing. You can't not love this thing. He's like, I didn't puppies. mean it. I wasn't in love with him. You what? She meant it. She just wanted to, didn't want to say this yet. And, uh, yeah, that's the first time she but said it. But then Andrew it. actually said it for the first time. Yeah, at, like, a party, probably. A party. Yeah, well, that brings us to now. So here we are now, two and a half weeks later. <laughs> Four years and some change. Almost five years. Almost five years. Five years, wow. The and, sun um, is just, like... <laughs> yeah, it's freaking hot. But that's pretty much how we met. I mean, not a lot has happened from then to now. Just the old casual BS that goes on in relationships. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed listening to our story about how we met and a little more than that yeah make sure you leave a comment below and let us know your whole story beginning to end of your like girlfriend boyfriend previous girlfriend previous boyfriend whatever let us know i want every i'm just kidding don't do that just say like wow you guys are the cutest couple ever and i aspire to be just like you <laughs> but make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one i love you so much I love babe. you too no all right, you guys, just a little <laughs> uh, Because Andrew never drives, he never knows where he's going. And I was just watching a video on YouTube, and we are very far <laughs> from our exit. No, the, th the thing is, I said, hey, like, I'm barely on that part of town. And I go, hey, where do I get off at? And Claire's just watching David Dover. You did not, you did not ask me where you get off yes, at. I, I would did. assume you would know. I am never coming from that uh, way. You gotta take, yeah, this is not. We ought to be going this way on 820.